For the people of Earth, Sirius is like our other sun. We have our own sun, but Sirius was always the guide of our sun. So everything that we do in our system is guided by them. We call them the mother star, or, or uh, as we call the sun, the father star. So both of them, the mother and the father, and are, uh, we're always in connection because Syrian people, they had personal influence and personal purposes in our system. Because even if we are not exactly the same, they had this idea from the Confederation that this planet is one of the most prepared planets to receive all the genetics from the whole galaxy and to prepare every species to, to be aware of who we are as a galaxy. So that's why they had this personal interest in this planet and they are trying to, to guide us from since long time ago and, and humans and Syrians were really uh, attached at the beginning of our civilizations. They were the ones teaching us how to build the pyramids, how to, how to build the temples, how to handle sound technology. So they were our teachers, the, the ones that help us to understand the universe. And in ancient times, we were connected to the stars by the concepts of reality and through the beings of confederation. The ones that came from other dimensions like the fifth and the sixth dimension were the information or the shapes in which we could understand the concepts of creation. In South America, Viracocha, in Africa, Ra, in other countries with different names, we named the God of the Sun and the information that it brings to us came into these shapes of gods. So that's why we had this kind of gods with no human shape that represented the concepts. And if you are aligned with the earth and the earth as a consciousness is aligned with the sun, so the sun is the biggest antenna from where the information of Sirius come. So that's why all the people and the souls that came from the sun came from the systems of the Confederation to help us to, to reestablish the consciousness. The consciousness of the sun was called in Atlantan times the spirit vibrating, the spiritual vibration. Spirit in ancient times was the letter A and the vibration was the letter R, vibration of consciousness, of mind. So that's why we call that consciousness R. And all the Atlantean people and the ancient people were aligned to the light of the sun so we could use it as an antenna to connect with, the, with Sirius and from Sirius to the whole galaxy. But when we lost the connection with the sun and we start to see it like a god, there were a few people that came to Earth to try to reestablish the consciousness of R again like Pakal, Manco Kappa, and Kukulkan would be one of the representatives of the Confederation, bringing the information of wisdom and the power of the enlightenment here on Earth. One of the last on doing it was Akhenaton. Akhenaton was one of the Syrian people that came straight and was born here on this planet by uh, Syrian genetics to try to reunite the River Nile into the consciousness of Atlantan time. So that's why he took every different perspective in which we divided the divine, so what they call gods, and, they, and he put them all together again in the consciousness of Ar, which now, because of misunderstanding in writing, we call Ra. The name of of Ra that we know now is because in ancient times we used to carve stones. So to 
to leave the information in silicon. We needed the information carved in the stones. So that, that writing was easier from right to left because you can use the tools to make a better writing. But when we used ink, writing this way, you can erase what you're writing. So that's why we changed it to from left to right. And in that moment, all the name, the ancient names used to switch and change from, from R to Ra. The awareness of the sun on earth was named Ar Arat. And the region of the people that brought that information from Sirius on earth is now a tiny region that once was big, that was the place of the people of the sun, which it's called Armenia. And that is the pineal gland of the information of the planet. In the galaxy, 